my channel Industrial Guruji. Hope all of you are doing well. In everyday work life, many of us do weld inspection, but sometimes we get confused on particular point as whether it is the duty of a welding inspector or not. So to clarify this, the topic we are going to cover today is duties and responsibilities of a welding inspector, according to CCP 3.1. But friends, before start of video, if you are new. then please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon for video updates so moving towards responsibilities a welding inspector should have sound knowledge of code of construction of a part to inspect he should record each of his observation during inspection he should be familiar with relative standards procedures rules and specifications secondly welding inspector should have a good workmanship control means he should have a degree of skill with which a product can be made and the last one is documentation control being a welding inspector you should maintain many records and documentation so knowledge of documentation is must now welding inspector should have a good vision in order to perform visual inspection it should be checked in every 12 months as a good eyesight with no color blindness is a key in weld inspection also external conditions like job access for inspection light intensity it should be favorable for inspection there are many standards which tells about standard conditions for visual inspection here we are discussing iso 17637 which is visual testing for fusion welded joints according to iso 17637 minimum 500 lux illumination is recommended for normal shop or office lighting Also job access should be such that i should be within 300 to 600 mm with the surface to be inspected with minimum of 30 degree viewing angle friends welding inspectors are employed to assist with the quality control activities necessary to ensure that welded items meet specified requirements so it is the duty of a welding inspector to ensure all the welding and associated activities are carried out in accordance with the specification and procedure for that a welding inspector must observe the things during inspection these include code compliance following of wps procedures application of good engineering practices etc during inspection a welding inspector should record his observations these are actual records and have importance for investigation in case of failures and the most important welding inspector should compare these recorded observations with standard ones to check acceptability range friends so far we have seen duties and responsibilities now we are going to see three stages of welding inspection first is before start of welding second is during actual welding process and the third is after welding now let's see them one by one in detail first we will see the duties before welding before start of welding welding inspector should check for first is material material grade should be in accordance with the drawing or wps the identification tenciling should be traceable according to test certificate and it should be free from damage and contamination the second one is wps wps should be approved one and must be available to all the welders working on a shop floor third is welding equipment it should be calibrated fourth is weldage preparation it should be according to the wps and within the tolerance limit most importantly before start of welding welder qualification with identification number should be verified and their qualification certificate should be valid next is welding consumables these are to be used are as specified by wps and controlled according to the qc procedures seventh is joint fit ups are according to the wps and tack welds should be in good condition along with the joints weld faces should be free from defects and contamination dp test should be ensured whenever necessary and the last one is preheat welding inspector must ensure minimum preheat temperature according to the wps so these are the things which should be ensured by welding inspector before start of welding now 
we will move towards duties during welding first and the most important is environmental condition on field or site these should be favorable one like there should be no heavy wind or rain because these can affect welding and produces defects second is welding process welding process should be according to the wps the value of interpass temperature should be maintained as per given in wps fourth is welding consumables it should be according to the wps and being controlled as per procedure like in case of baking of low hydrogen electrodes in smw process next is welding parameters parameters like current voltage travel speed should be within the range given in wps sixth is root run root run is important as many a times there are chances of defects at this stage so it should be checked before filling a joint seventh is gouging or grinding it is required during backside material removal and during internal cleaning it should be done by approved method and with a good workmanship standard and the last one is welder qualification welder should be qualified for the wps being used so friends so far we have seen duties of a welding inspector before and during welding now we will see duties after welding first one is welder identification each weld should be marked with welder identification this is done for tracing in case of failures second is weld appearance visual inspection should be done according to the code or standard applicable and appearance should be suitable for ndt process performed next is dimensional survey dimension should be according to the drawing drawing should include modifications next is ndt welding inspector should ensure ndt is complete and reports are available for records if there are any repairs then these should be done according to the procedure seventh one is pwst post weld heat treatment should be conducted and monitor as per procedure and chart records should be verified next one is pressure test or hydro test it is the duty of a welding inspector to ensure test equipment calibration and reports availability welding inspector need to monitor these tests to ensure procedure compliance and the last one is documentation welding inspector should ensure all reports are completed and compiled as required so friends this is all about duties and responsibilities of a welding inspector hope all of you understood these are quite simple but one should remember these during inspection now we will look upon inspection aids that is welding inspector's toolbox a welding inspector's toolbox should have a boroscope or a fiber optics viewing system these are used when direct access is not available welding gauges for checking bevel angle fillet sizes and undercuts etc weld gap gauges for gap measurement and high low gauges for linear misalignment checking along with flexible tape steel rule torch and flashlight gas flow meter to check gas flow rate magnifying lens to observe minute indications temperature indicating crayons for temperature measurement and lastly multimeter to check current and voltage these are some of the examples which we have seen in last slide so friends this is all about duties and responsibilities of a welding inspector hope all of you have understood if you have any queries or questions please comment below i will definitely try to answer them all so friends if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit bell icon for updates please comment below on what topic you want my next video thank you